Hi everyone, my name is Maran Hussein. I'm a 3D artist and today I want to share with you my new Blender course. In this course we will learn how to create this canon from start to finish. As you can see we have a lot of details and step by step we will learn how to create all of that with the Blender. The result that you see right now it is the final render results. We will use cycle to render the final uh, image and we will use a uh, compositor to post process the image and make it ready. I have multiple images I rendered, let's see them together. As you can see here we have a lot of details, the materials looks nice and realistic. We will learn how to create the metal material or let's say realistic material and how can we add the bumpness in the specific places and how can we add dirtness between the crevices to make the result looks realistic. In the same scenario for the wood, as you can see at the edges, we have imperfection and we have some variation in the color. We will learn step by step how to achieve that. And for the modeling, we will model all of the details that you see right now and after the modeling, we will unwrap the whole canon to make it ready to receive the texture in the correct way. And after the unwrapping, we will start creating the material. And as you can see, this is the final result of the material. And when the material section is done, we will use HDR image to illuminate the scene and we will make our final render using cycle engine. When the render is finished, we will go to the compositor to make some post-processing editing to the image to make it look nice and ready for sharing. Let's browse the other images. All right, as you can see, we have a lot of details and it is looks realistic. We will learn how to use ambient occlusion technique to put some pumpness in specific places. As you can see here in this area, for the back side of the barrel, we have some bumpness in this area and we will learn how to create a specific mask that could help us to achieve something like this. And we will do that step by step. In the same scenario, we will use it on the wood and on the metal material this, as you can see here. All right, let's go to another image. We will learn how to use depth of field inside Blender to achieve nice focus uh, render image like this one. All right, this is another close shot here. You can check the details. Even if you have a close shot, you'll still have very nice details or let's say very nice result here. All right, this is another shot here. All right, I think that's it. If you find this result nice and beautiful, you can join me today and let's create this together. All right, see you inside.